You're listening to the What to Read Next podcast, episode number 14. Welcome to the What to Read Next podcast. This podcast is hosted by Lori Amin, a voracious reader of romance and young adult novels. In this podcast, she will share bite sized book reviews and book recommendations. We hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the show, guys. So happy to have you here. So before we get to today's book recommendation, I want to share a word of one of my favorite subscription boxes for young adult reads, and it's Alcrate. I'll create a monthly subscription box that features new release young adult books with an exclusive cover and three to five bookish goods. This past month, the book was The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, and the bookish goods include a pouch, candle, corneline key, and a sticker. The monthly book su- box subscription box costs $29.99 plus shipping and handling. If you're interested in signing up, please check out bit.ly what to read I'll create. Today, I have a special book recommendation. Over the past few months, I've been following Reese's, Reese's Witherspoon's book club, Hello Sunshine, and it's been a great place to find great adult read specs. And I have read three books so far, and they all have been four to five star reads, so I'm so excited to share this with you. So here are my picks. For June 2017, the book club pick was Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. This is the story of Eleanor Oliphant, who is a quirky character who has gone through major trauma and she lacks the social social skills, so a chance encounter led her to make a friend and it's a huge major lecture that happens. It triggered a snowball into from one action to the other. The book was engaging. I literally loved the outgrowth of Eleanor Oliphant. She went from socially awkward, isolating herself, to actually having friends, to being part of the world, which is an amazing character to witness. I'm grateful to have read it. It just it dealt with depression and anxiety, and it dealt with just major trauma and how do you actually overcome it. I give this book five stars. I really love this book. If you haven't picked it up, I encourage you to pick it up. It's again, it's Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. For December 2017, the book club pick was The Last Mrs. Parrish by Liv Constantine. This is a psychological thriller between Amber, a con artist, Jackson, and Daphne Parrish. Amber infiltrates the parishes, and let's just say this book has many twists and turns that leaves you engaged. I am Team Daphne all the way, and karma is a bitch. That's all I have to say. I love the ending of this book. It just is so good. It was engaging. It just kept you on the kept you on your toes. Like I couldn't put it down. The first half it was just very the first half of the book was kind of like slow. Um it was just that da- Amber trying to infiltrate, but then once he hit the second part of it, once he hit Daphne's point of view, you're like, what the hell is going on? I can't stop I can't stop reading. I need to know the ending of this book. So it was really good. I gave this book four stars. For December twenty eighteen, the book club pick was The Live with Lost by Jin Santopolo. This is a heartbreaking story between Lucy, Darren, and Gabe. Yes, there's a love triangle and it is best to go blind. This book made me cry, so it's just a forewarning. It, it can bring you tears to your eyes. So it just And there's an ending. I wish there was a sequel. I wish there was a novella or something so we know what happens because it leaves you with a cliffhanger of some sort. So I wish there was more. So this book I gave them five stars. I'm currently reading March 2018's pick, which is Erotic Stories of Punjabi Widows by Bali Kaur Jaswal, and I'm loving it. I can't wait to share my review in a few weeks, so I'll share with you um, another set of this book reviews, book picks from Reese's Witherspoon. I'll probably have them quarterly, so you'll see in a few months I'll have probably Erotic Stories of Punjabi Widows, The Lion Game, and um, Little Fires Everywhere. Those are the next books that I'm planning to read. So I'll be doing another series of this, so you should be looking forward to it. So question, are you part of a book club? What has been your favorite book recommendation so far? Come to the blog, watch the read next blog, and share it in the comments. If you enjoyed this podcast, please consider leaving a review on iTunes. It's the best way for this podcast to get discovered by new audiences. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a fantastic day.